after he referred in writing to the cancer drugs that the company makes as, quote, a bucket of cash. The incident has led to broader allegations that some claim could get the company into some trouble. CNBC's pharmaceuticals reporter Mike Huckman looking into the story and joins us now with the details. Mike. Michelle, yet another cautionary tale about putting stuff in writing at work. In the blogosphere, a former regional oncology drug sales director at AstraZeneca is setting off quite a firestorm. AstraZeneca fired 49-year-old Mike Zubalaga after he put out this unauthorized newsletter, apparently designed as a motivational tool for his reps. The idea backfired, though, when bloggers got a hold of it and started calling attention to this quote from a Q&A feature with Zubalaga. He said, do not take no for an answer. There is a big bucket of money sitting in every doctor's office. Every time you go in, you reach your hand in the bucket and grab a handful. I just wanted to know if we could have a moment to talk to you about the newsletter and so that you could tell us your side of what happened. Zubalaga did not respond to my voicemail, so I paid him a visit yesterday at his big new upscale home outside of Philadelphia. He said he just wanted to get on with his life, asked me to leave and to talk to his lawyer, and his lawyer tells me that his client does not think that he did anything wrong. Jamie Reedy, who used to be one of Pfizer's top sellers of Viagra, says he's heard comments like Zubalaga's before, but the problem, he says, is that in today's world, Zubalaga made the mistake of putting them in writing. The public reaction is going to be a huge outcry and say, is this why our drug prices are so high? Is because some middle manager named Mike is, is referring to doctor's offices basically as his own personal cash register. Uh, people are going to be very upset. You know, is this why their grandparents eating a cat food because they can't afford their drugs? It, it just, it's just going to snowball uh, like crazy. Now, this is a sensitive matter for AstraZeneca, which paid 350 million bucks in 2003 over its sales tactics on another cancer drug. The company says it is investigating the newsletter and other allegations now that have since surfaced on the blogs and that it's committed to the highest standards of ethics and integrity. And a spokesman for the Office of the Inspector General says they are aware of this situation, but he can't say if the agency is or is not looking into it. Guys, I'm going to have more on this story on the second hour of the closing bell at 4 o'clock Eastern. If you don't want to read it in the newspaper, don't put we'll it in an email, CNBC. don't blog it, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Mike Huffman. Bob O'Brien.